Hey, good morning. You might be noticing that my face looks less blurry. Why is that? Because I bought a new camera, a Sony uh, A5100 for 385 American dollars on eBay. And to pay for this son of a gun, we're gonna go to Salvation Army, buy some things that we can resell for more money on eBay, on Amazon. Why do I do this? Because I am a full-time entrepreneur. I resell stuff. I do pallet liquidation stuff. I make YouTube videos. I'm on a TV show. It airs tomorrow on A&E, Extreme Unboxing, 10 p.m. You should watch it. Now let's drive to a Salvation Army, go in there, peruse the shelves, and buy some things that are undervalued. Hopefully you can watch this video, do what I do, and make your own money. That's the goal of these folks. I want you to do what I do, aka not have some bullshit job you hate. Or worse, be unemployed and broke and dying at home. No one wants to do that. Okay, let's go. Wee! Uh oh. We are here, Salvation Army, Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm gonna go in using my phone, stealth mode. I don't wanna walk around with this camera in there like a weirdo. And then we'll go back to the warehouse and explain why I bought what I bought. Okay, first things first, get yourself a nice rickety cart. I'm going over to the electronics section. These cameras here are not really worth anything. They want five bucks or so each. You can't really sell them at all, so we're gonna pass on those. But I do like obsolete electronics, old printers, DVD, VCR combos. Although this time, no DVD, VCR combos, but I did see a VCR. When you get these VCRs, the first thing you wanna do is always, always, always test them in the store. The last thing you want to do is buy a VCR for 10 bucks or whatever it is, get it home and see it's broken, you wasted your money. Now this one right here, plugged it in, uh, and as you will soon see, it is a piece of garbage. Does not work, completely broken, the front flaps even snabbed. Next up is the clocks. You've seen me buy these a lot, sell them a lot. I'm always looking for Sony, Philips, and Panasonic brand. Now this one right here with the wood grain on the side, cannot sell it on Amazon. Uh, that one right there is a C218, I believe. They're kind of cheap right now. This one, I'm not so sure, haven't seen it before, but a lot of these, you have to look them up, see what they're going for. The good thing about these clocks is they're oftentimes below one pound, so you get first class shipping. Over there, uh, I was looking for bread makers. No bread makers, those are still selling pretty hot. I'm over in what my Salvation Army calls the knickknack section, and I see a dream catcher. You gotta check these out though, make sure they don't have any uh, bad dreams in them. This one, full of bad dreams, did not buy it, put it back on the shelf. But then over here, I see, uh, it looks like some Mary Kay makeup, and that is always worth looking up because that old Mary Kay stuff, people want it, they'll pay up for it, and they only want, uh, you know, two for a dollar here, which is a pretty good deal. I was doing kind of an in and out real fast trip to this Salvation Army, so I didn't scan every single DVD or video game, but what I'm looking for is DVDs, video games that are new in box, or any big titles like, you know, Super Smash Brothers or NCAA Football 14. None of those, nothing really that good here. Uh, I've, I come here pretty frequently, so I pick out all the new, uh, new and sealed DVDs. None of them here. Over to toys, same thing, looking for sealed items. This uh, specific toy I could not find the listing for on Amazon, so I left it. Over here, this puzzle, if the box wasn't completely obliterated on that corner, I would have bought it. it sells for about 35 bucks, but you can't sell it uh, in that condition. It looks like an animal got to it. Not bad, spent about 15 minutes in there. I spent uh, $53.42, bought 11 items. Now, let's see how much they're worth and what I'll sell them for. Back in the warehouse, and here is what we have. I purchased these discontinued Mary Kay makeup things. Uh, this 14 megapixel Panasonic camera right here with the charger, and I have the battery inside. I charged it, let's see if it turns on. It does turn on, and look, we have a nice little picture of a cat. That's not screen damage, that's just the way the picture is. Uh, this Sony TV Weather FM radio. Whenever you see uh, weather radios, those always seem to uh, be worth a little bit more. I bought this one DVD, it was 50 cents. Uh, you know, this is the by far the least, uh, the least interesting purchase. HP NV 45. Uh, 4520 right there, and then this Sony Wi-Fi 
Blu-ray player with the apps. It's the uh, SDP S3100. So now how do I figure out what all this stuff is worth? Well, I use my phone. Wham! I use the Amazon and eBay seller app, and I'm going to show you right now how I do that. So here it is. I have my uh, eBay app pulled up, and then I just typed in Mary Kay Medium Coverage Foundation, and then on the bottom of these, or on the side, it says uh, Bronze 708, Bronze 708, or uh, one of these is 600, Bronze 600. They're all expired. That's fine. Uh, the makeup selling is all expired too. People don't like it, or people don't care. I mean, they do like it enough where that doesn't really matter to them. And uh, to see what the things are going for, all you have to do is, again, type in the name, search it, go up here to filter, go down to completed listings, and we'll see uh, just exactly what's going on. And it looks like this one sold uh, a few days ago, about a month ago, uh, and these are all around like 10 to uh, 20 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks. What I'll do for these, uh, the ones that are the, the same model number or color or style between both of these, uh, they're all going for the same price. I'll lot them up, some at 10 bucks a piece, and as you can see, I paid uh, two for two bucks there, so a dollar a piece. Uh, normally, I wouldn't buy just one of those, but because I can lot them up, I'll make, let's see, I did the math already. Uh, there's 11 of them. If I can sell them for 15 bucks a piece, I'll make 165, 10 bucks a piece, 110. So not bad at all. Uh, this D uh, Panasonic DMC S, uh, S ZS8 camera. Amazon seller app is pretty similar to the eBay app. We just type in add a product or, uh, or click the add a product button on the Amazon seller app homepage. Type in the name. You see it's right there. Panasonic DMC SZ8. Panasonic DMC SZ8. And then uh, you search for it. And it'll show up uh, the options real quick. My fingers are too big to do this. Yeah, right there, you see it selling for $153.90. Okay, so interesting news. Uh, as you just saw in the video, the option I showed you was the DCM ZS20, not the ZS8. Sometimes, when I'm trying to film a video, I don't read everything, but don't worry. The ZS8 is still for sale, but it's not going for $150, it's going for $94. So just take off $55 off the total, but it's still selling, and the sales rank is like uh, a little bit better, but it's still not going to sell for like a month or two. Five, I'll sell it for probably $150 even, uh, include the charger and all that stuff. And you use this same process, just looking things up on your phone uh, to see what everything is worth. And again, I'm paying a fraction of what these are selling for, so on this... Uh, I'm turning 11 bucks into like 165, 150. On this, 12 bucks into uh, 150. This Sony uh, TV weather camera, it's kind of interesting. There's no, um, there's no like wall outlet. It's only battery powered. I made sure to check that there was no corrosion there. It's all fine. Uh, I haven't charged it yet, or I haven't turned it on yet, but I assume it's going to work. And if it does work, we'll get 115 for that. This DVD. Only $10, but it's easy to sell. This Sony DVD player, I looked it up. It should go for uh, about $100. Has the, has the uh, OEM remote. That's always nice. And then this printer right here should go for 100 bucks plus shipping. I normally stay away from printers, uh, but this one had a power cord on it. I was able to try it, test it, make sure it works. And uh, this fall, there's going to be a lot of printers selling. So I paid 8 bucks for it. It was half off, so I paid 4 bucks for it. And that should turn into, uh, again, $100 and then shipping on top of that. Normally I do free shipping, but for heavy items like this, I, uh, I don't want to get caught with like a $90 shipping bill to Alaska or some bullshit like that. So when it's all said and done, we turned about 50 bucks into over $600. Now you're going to say, well, what hasn't sold yet? The Mary Kay stuff should sell in about a month. The Blu-ray player will sell in days. The printer, maybe a week or so. Probably the biggest, hardest sell is going to be this one right here, the Sony uh, ICF S79V. It might not sell for until like Christmas time. I'm going to FBM it, meaning it's going to stay in my warehouse. I've got a lot of stuff here. That's totally fine, though. It's all relatively organized. Uh, so when it does sell, I'll put it in a, uh, in a box. It weighs over a pound, so it'll ship for like seven bucks. But very easily... Let's see, let's say I make 600 bucks revenue. We're gonna pay a 15% uh, Amazon fee. So that's 90 bucks, 510. And probably to ship these six items, or these six listings, uh, it's gonna be, I'd say, 
probably we're gonna get out of here with about 425 bucks profit and that's gonna uh, accrue over the next like four months but when this thing sells right here this bad boy this uh, the Sony one right there we're gonna be in the black already because I paid 55 bucks that'll sell for a hundred I'll make like 75 or 80 off that after fees and shipping and that is the way you want to do it Hope you guys liked this video, and remember, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you like the new camera, hope you like the podcast I'm doing two or three days a week. Not sure how that's going to go, but I'll see you guys later.